Good morning, good afternoon and good evening guys. My name is Deep Shring Lecture. Today we are going to learn how to download, install and work with GNS3. Let's begin. Here I have got Google Chrome. You can use Internet Explorer, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Just double click on Google Chrome. Type in gns3.com in the URL bar. It will open up a GNS3 website. Down there you can click on free download and then it will open up a sign up page. You can actually create a GNS3 account with the pre-existing email ID. Click on login. I have already created a GNS3 account so my email ID is personal.ddd1 at the rate gmail.com. Type in the password. I am not going to share my password. <laughs> okay, click on login and continue. Alright, I've been signed up in GNS3 account. Here are three versions of your GNS3 um, exe file, Windows, Mac and Linux. We are going to download Windows file. So wait for a while. Okay, down bottom on the left side you can see there. Alright, the file size is 54.5 Mbps. Wait for a while. All right, it's been downloaded. Okay, so go back to the site again. Click on back button. And then it will take you back to the home website page. Click on menu tab. Click on software tab. Over there, here you can see the version 2.1.8 for optimal performance download vm for gns3 so this is a virtual machine file so we are going to use vmware workstation so download click on vmware workstation all right we're going to use vmware workstation okay again left bottom down you can see the downloading file the file size is 323 mb full size Wait for a while again. It's already downloaded again. Minimize it. Go to start. All right. Go to documents. Click on downloads folder. Here you can see both of the files. Double click on GNS3. Yes to install. Over here you can see an error based on C runtime is not installed. Click on OK. It's going to take you to the Microsoft website update universal C runtime. All right, scroll down a little bit over there. You can see the supported 64 based version of Windows 7. Yeah, all right, down there. Yeah, all supported X. Uh, okay, X64 based. If you're not sure, go to start, right click on computer properties, and there you can see that your system type is 64 bit operating system. That's fine. All right, so close it and download the package now. Just click on it. Wait for a while. Okay, the page is getting loaded. Okay, scroll down a little bit. All right. Okay, and uh, click on download. Just like that. Okay, the file has been downloading. Just wait for a while. Click on show all. It's already been downloaded. Click on the file. Install it. Okay. Click on yes. All right. It's been installing. You have to be online. All right. You have to be connected with the internet. If it's not connected, then you're not going to get the file. So it's been downloading. Wait for a while. Okay, all right. That's great. Okay, done. Installation is completed. So click on close. Minimize the window. All right. Now let's try again to install GNS3 2.1.8 again. Double click on it. Click on yes. Voila, it's completed. Yeah, that's done. Click on next. Click on I agree. 
scroll it down for a while okay i agree click on next again click on next again yeah click on install right it's installing all right yeah you can see that microsoft visual c plus plus 2017 will distribute able okay this is the file it's been downloading from the site directly you don't have to do anything just wait for a while it's going to complete it by itself all right the packages are been extracted all right click on next i agree all right click on install again for the wing pcap installation click on finish all right it's getting downloaded okay click on yes for wireshark retry it again yes okay it's not working click on no just like that okay it's fine you can download it later on okay wait for a while again okay okay all right the package are being extracted regarding solar winds installer click on install it'll take a little bit of time just bear with me all right over there you can type your email id for solar winds registration my email id right personal.dd1 at the gmail.com continue yeah the package has been installing click on next i accept scroll it down next again next again all right all right it's been getting downloaded all right click on finish we are done with the installation click on next again click on no we're not going to uh, install the setup all right all right just click on finish we have successfully installed gns3 over here you can see there is a setup wizard you can install ios for now it's been by default it's been selected on ios and iou click on next over here for hosting host binding okay there's an error just click on okay for host binding click on 127.0.0.1 this is the local server for our local computer click on next all right connection to local server is successful click on next again okay one more error click on okay just like that it's uh, totally fine then click on cancel we don't have vmware installed yet right we are going to install in the local server all right minimize it close the solar winds windows close this window as well go to start computer c drive there is a gns3 folder over there i have got um, files related to 3725 and 7200 series of ios close the window paste it in the desktop all right click on refresh go to gns3 click on edit preferences and come down to ios routers click over here click on next browse it select desktop and select that image all right open it up click on yes all right click on next again click on next okay the ram size should be 192 for nat support all right click on next all right select slot one nm network module nm again network module click on next no wick cards click on next and click on find idle pc all right it will take a little bit while okay we can wait all right it has selected the best uh, processing speed for it just click on finish and click on apply and okay all right okay so you can click on file new blank project okay rename the file anything new lab all right click on okay 
and uh, all right click on routers click on installed appliances here you can see that there is 3725 series router that has been installed in my GNS3 drag and drop it all right router 1 and router 2 yeah okay now click on the cable to connect these two devices with one another or each other all right so click on the all right device labels interface labels all right that's okay bring it to the corner side all right click on console it's not going to work because it's the interfaces are down so click on play button it's going to turn on the interfaces you can see the green lights over there all right then click on console see you have two consoles for router 1 and router 2 all right so we can assign an IP address to router 1 all right wait for a while okay okay show IP interface brief you can see there there are no IP addresses assigned on the interfaces go to global configuration mode and assign an IP address 191.8.1.1 .1. all right no shutdown exit that's all you have assigned an IP address to router 1 fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 all right you can see there go to router 2 again assign the IP address for itself as well show IP interface brief okay no assigned IP addresses unassigned so go to global configuration mode interface all right global configure terminal interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address would be 192.168.1.2 all right submit pass slash 24 no shutdown and end and save the configuration and we are done all right let's try to ping with router 1 all right okay show IP interface brief uh, we have got all right we have assigned an IP address ping with 192.168.1.1 and voila it's successful all right it's yeah it's working fine it's working totally fine great all right you can see that uh, it's been done everything is working fine click on red button to stop the topology close the GNS3 window click on yes and we have completed and successfully installed GNS3 thank you